All right, what up, y'all? It's your boy Gangsta. Gangsta. Let's see if we can flip this thing around. Uh, guess not. Guess not. Took a couple pictures, though. Uh, show y'all. This is my come out the house load. Pick this up right outside of Tennessee. I like to call this my, um, not only come out the house load, my fixed cost load. Took a week off. Uh, had some things going on at the house. The wife had to have a light little surgery, so took some time off. That's one of the good things about being here. Take off when you got to. Uh, crawl my butt up here in this truck. Got to take a quick 30 minutes. <clears throat> Eat me some um, home cooking at the wife, man. Hit y'all back, yo. All right, y'all. That last load y'all saw me with, that was a little um, government load. Uh, your boy Gangster still on his learning curve. All right. Um, I had to learn when I was doing box. I had to learn about um, trade show. A lot of sitting and waiting, a lot of sitting and waiting, a lot of sitting and waiting. Okay. Um yeah, you do get um what they call it, detention, you know. Um it's a trade show. <laughs> you know, staging area, you know, back inside, load up, staging area, you out of there. Same thing usually on the receiving end. So if you ever book a trade show, um just know watch booking your time. You know, booking that next load. Watch how you do that. Um same thing I just learned with government convoy loads. And I don't mean convoys of truck following each other. Um, I done did government loads before. Uh, this is the first time I done did a um, group government load. You know, I think they needed like 60, 70 trucks. Um, everything came, came up out of um, Nashville. Matter of fact, I just missed the tornado. The family say uh, we stay on the west side of Nashville. Um, most of the damage came through downtown and the eastern suburb, Lebanon, over there. So, hearts and prayers go out to everybody involved in that because that thing came through like two in the morning. Um, caught some rough rain um, coming out of Atlanta and everything. I guess everything was heading north. Oh, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Okay. Um, with this convoy load, um, I knew it was other trucks, you know. Um, just didn't have no idea how that situation would go. I know now. So pretty much, you know, um, everybody pretty much rolled in. I ain't gonna say exact same time, but it was groups. It was groups. You know, I was that group that was there 8 a.m. You know, and um, basically you come into this separate area from, you know, on side of the base or whatever. And it's like a pre-staged area before you go into the gate. Okay, once you go into the gate, they had us sit at another staging area, okay, that was close to the gate. Then they took us round. Let me make sure I don't leave nothing out. They took us round to another staging area. So that's staging area three, okay. We sat there at that staging area. Well, technically staging area two because pulling in the gate, yeah, okay, you know. Went to that staging area. Sat there about another hour. Left there, took another group of trucks to another staging area. Okay. Once we got to that staging area, then you take your paperwork in, you know, whatever, whatever. Somebody signed it. Matter of fact, I need to go ahead and get this load off today, Tuesday. This is my fixed cost load, y'all. <laughs> my only load on the week, but you knew. Um, uh, had to take care of some business last clip, y'all heard me. Okay. Once that stage area was done and over with, okay. Then went to the last staging area by the docks. Okay. This this base at a port. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Alright, and then once we did that, sat there for a little while, then they pulled you around into the unload area. So basically I sat there from like 8 in the morning to about noon time. Another Landstar driver. 
sat in there about eight in the morning to like noon time. So, yeah. So anytime you're involved in one of those group convoy type of uh, loads, be careful how you book your next load. I did make it to my other loading time. I'm here now getting ready to pick it up down here in Savannah. Um, one of my machines ain't ready yet. So kind of throw it off for my delivery because um, I'm trying to book me another load over the weekend because I got to get my 120 day inspection and it's only certain places I trust doing my 120 so got to make it to one all right y'all hit y'all back next clip uh, hold up y'all uh, I hear Harrisburg Pennsylvania uh, yeah, yeah, real quick real quick yeah, that's that gangsta gang truck. Remember, holler at me if you see me get one. Anyway, in the oh, and if you do want one, if you don't see me, you do want one, check out Ferner Burner. You can check them out on Facebook, Instagram. He'll get you one. But, um, yeah, out here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, at the TA, shutting it down for the night. Uh, I need to go see, see what they got in there. I want to eat. Do I want to cook in a truck tonight? But let me make those decisions. I hit you back. Okay, back at you. Went ahead and grabbed some off the buffet real quick. Um, to go to the truck. Jump on this Fortnite. I'm addicted to this Fortnite now, y'all. So y'all see me out there. I think it's Gangsta Gangsta G 1969 on Fortnite too. So go ahead, come holler at me. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. See if you got them building skills. But um, yeah, it's been an interesting trip. Race has been hit and miss this week. Um, find a good rate coming out over uh, North Carolina. That was that military load I told y'all about. South Carolina. Then I caught a good load out of South Carolina. It was a short run up here to PA. Then I'm, I'm like, okay, PA. Oh man, I'm gonna get you know get the Midwest rate. Dollar fifty one. Dollar sixty one. 201 if you're going all the way out to California. But um really didn't see nothing. I could have waited another day because I don't drop it to tomorrow, but well, I dropped one part of my load today. I still got another tractor back there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Back there in the cut. Yeah. That's Becky, y'all. Uh I dropped that one about 50 miles away in the morning. But um, yeah, long story short, I ended up catching a 261 a mile run um they paid 80 percent of what they was paying to go all the way to california but i'm going to cheyenne no i'm going probably hour and a half north of cheyenne wyoming so in other words i'm be catching sailboat fuel up out of there y'all but it is what it is uh, hopefully i can get some out of the, uh south dakota or maybe drop back down to denver get the hell on because by the time me get my 120, there ain't too many places I trust with the 120s. I done heard some horror stories. Them places just hit you up for, whoo. I heard one dude got hit by 18,000. The funny part about it, he had just got his truck on with last time. His first 120, they hit him up for 18,000. Put him out of business, baby. Anyway, all the back at y'all. I'll be wrapping this video up soon. Gonna get in here, give me something to eat and jump on this Fortnite. Getting into the reels a little bit. I don't care for it. Just had to check a little change, y'all. You see, had to put a top on in the middle. Uh, had to get back in the truck, had to stop and get some fuel, check the load, and uh, I finished whining about this load too. All right, back. All right, y'all, back at y'all. Back to do some energy. Okay. Y'all saw the reel. Y'all know gangsta um, don't have reels too often. Um, Anyway, let's get into the story because I ain't trying to make the video too long. Okay. Damn, um, turn this radio down. Okay, I get to the spot and there are these boys on the truck. They pull me inside this huge warehouse, load it on them. Mind you, I got to the spot, let's say 11 30, 12 o'clock. Okay. Dog on, um, they throw it on them. Then he was like, okay, um, we'll throw the top on here for you. I'm like, okay, um, I'm thinking, you know, they had the setup. I'm thinking, you know, I've been places before. They put one top on one end. I mean, one end on top on one end, one end on top on the other end. Pull it up, pull it across. Okay. 
to save you some time. And besides, um, I only carry six foot tarps. Uh, this thing was eight foot long, I have a rule of thumb. This ain't hip foot high off the ground plus the trail, I don't need to be up there. That's why I only carry a six foot tarp. <laughs> don't like tarp no way. So anyway, they pull it across, but they, when they pull it across, they only put, they only use one hook. They ain't open it out like I said, you know what I'm saying? You only need one hook, pull it across. I'm like, you say, oh, you only got to talk to milk. Okay, cool. All right, so I can do everything in here? Yeah, sure. So I'm thinking, okay, everything in here, they got the long pipe to shoot through the top, to, you know, to pull along. You know, I'm gonna change through this and that, because you know, I only got a broomstick, you know. Um, broomstick ain't wide enough for that. But anyway, as I'm getting my chains out, I, I gotta come out, yo! got to pull outside. It's a big property, so I pulled outside, outside the little well, and closed the door. I'm thinking the reason you have to pull me out, they got another trailer, truck coming. Okay. So I get out there, and I'm trying to open the tarp up. Mind you, this is steel rope. And, you know, if you, anything you wind up on the school, going to have rules in it. Okay. So, some kind of way, when they pulled across, the tarp got twisted. Cause you know how you fold the tarps in thirds and fourths, you know. When they pulled it across, you know, I could not open it. I couldn't do nothing. Not to mention on these big ropes, how you say, braids of steel, it got some kind of oil on it, you know. So the tarp really ain't moving because it's sticky now. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I might end up throwing this tarp away. You know, I got a little hole in it, you know. Um, when they poured the cross, I just noticed it. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to get it back. I'm just funny with it. I get my tarps off um, Facebook anyway. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, I couldn't move. Couldn't do nothing. I couldn't even run the chains through. But, you know. So I go on the inside, talk to the dude. He'll say, well, um, second shift going to have to do that. We're getting ready to change shifts this soon. And uh, second shift get to you, but they probably won't be able to get right to you because they need to do X, Y, Z. Okay, so I go outside. He said, go wait in your truck. Just one of them little sites. Oh, I had safety glass. I had it all on, man, you know. But go wait in the truck. I'm thinking, okay, all right. So I sit in the truck and I'm waiting. I see this dude out there. And so I jump out. I'm like, yo, if there's something I can use to pull a change through the rail. He's like, um, well, you know, I'm, I'm not in that department. He's like, what's going on? Why you ain't up yet? I'm like, um, my tarp got twisted, whatever, whatever. And, you know, they say the second shift, get it. It was like one o'clock when he told me that. They would say second shift, second shift, don't come in the three. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Woo. By this time, you know how to call the agents. I done got pushed down like these guys don't want to do nothing, just that. They just said, let me make a phone call. Long story short, end up getting to be three o'clock. Okay. Finally, somebody come out like four o'clock from second show. Pull on in. So I backed on back in. Mind you, nobody never pulled into that bay. They just made me go outside. Why? I never know. Okay. Okay. Pull back in. These guys were just a nice. Moved the tarp how I needed it. Moved it how I wanted it. Gave me a little stick. Stick it through. Pull the chains. I'm like, yo, why the first shot could have been gone down the road? You know what I'm saying? But that thing happened for a reason. You know, it pays for fun. Okay. Now, what I didn't tell you, I took the load as best thing going. I'm going to Wyoming. Going to the dead area. So, I'm prepared to haul sailboat fuel up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Down in Nebraska again. Somewhere, you know. Long story short, it'll probably be another good pan run. Um, actually, I'm going to say that was 271 a mile going down right outside Kansas City, Missouri. So, the boy gang's on the move. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. Once again, it's your boy Gash, Gash, G Way. Holla at me. Follow me on Facebook. Nick Galloway. Um, senior. Also on uh, Instagram, Gangsta G1999. And if you play Fortnite, Gangsta, Gangsta G1969. Holla! Y'all be safe out there. Yo.